In this video, we are going to be solving logarithmic inequalities. We'll look at a few examples. I'm going to be using the inequality approach for this, comparing the inequality of the solution and the inequality of the boundary to see where my solution space is. So in this first example, I have log base 3 of x is greater than 4. To convert this and solve, what I'm taking the log of, which is x, has to be greater than my base 3 to the 4th power which is solved, that means x is greater than 81. Before I move further into this, I need to check for my boundary. Remember, your boundary exists when the value you're taking the log of, which is x, is greater than 0. So there's no solving here. It's already solved for. So to determine, do I need my boundary or not, I'm going to kind of visualize it on a number line. I'm going to mark my solution x is greater than 81. So that would be an open circle with an arrow to the right. The values where x can exist are greater than 0. So open circle on 0 to the right. Since my solution that I found is part of that boundary, it is contained inside of that boundary of x being greater than 0, then I don't need the boundary. My solution says x is greater than 81. The boundary says it can only exist when greater than 0, which 81 is greater than 0. And so my answer is what I found in the first place. I do not need to consider my boundary for this solution space. If we were to look at number 2, log base 4 of x is greater than or equal to 3. To convert, x has to be greater than or equal to my base of 4 to the third power. And so that means x is greater than or equal to 64. Before you move further, you want to make sure you check for your boundary. Take what you're doing the log of, which just happens to be x here, to be greater than 0. And then look at the information on the number line. The first part says my solutions are when x is greater than or equal to 64 which means open, sorry, closed circle on 64 with an arrow to the right. The values of x can only exist when x is greater than 0. So open circle on 0 with an arrow to the right. So the question is, do I need my boundary? Well, seeing how my solution space is part of the boundary, is contained inside of the boundary, then I don't need it. I can just say my x values are greater than or equal to 64 since 64 is greater than 0. Let's look at number 3. And this one is a less than, so this one's going to be a little bit different. Log base 2 of x is less than or equal to 4. The expression I'm taking the log of x is less than or equal to my base of 2 to the 4th power. So x is less than or equal to 16. To get the boundary, whatever you're taking the log of, which is x, set it greater than or equal to 0, solve, which I don't need to here, and then look at the number line. The values that we found, 16, and our boundary of 0. This solution says x is a solution when it is less than or equal to 16, so close circle on 16. And you would have an arrow going to the left. However, this boundary says x can only exist when it's greater than 0. And so I get to have a boundary here. Because as soon as I pass 0 with this x is less than or equal to 16, I am going where x cannot exist. And so my solution space, the answer is your x values are between 0 and 16. 0 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 16. And so we see for an and, a less than compound inequality, we have. And so we have a less than, which turns into a less than, an and compound inequality. Our boundary is taken into consideration for these problems.